Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, May 30th, 2016. So looking at the next few weeks, there are no real fire potential impacts. We will see a warming and drying trend begin today that will continue through the end of the week. With those warmer and drier temperatures, uh, we will see the fuels start to dry out more rapidly. Taking a look at the past 24 hours, there was uh, precipitation across much of Utah and portions of eastern Nevada and southern and southeastern Idaho. However, the amounts were not significant. They were generally below a half of an inch. There was also a fair amount of lightning associated with these storms. You can see the map on the right shows where that lightning occurred, and a lot of it was concentrated over northwestern Utah and portions of eastern Nevada. So quite a bit of lightning with the storms yesterday. So looking at precipitation over the past 30 days, if we look at the map on the left, that will show us how much has fallen over the past 30 days. Um, and you can see, as you may expect, that the uh, higher terrain has seen the most significant amounts of precipitation over the past 30 days. However, it's interesting to look at this precipitation and how it compares to normal. And the map on the right kind of gives you that, that uh, percentage of normal over the past 30 days. You can see there are some areas of the Great Basin that have seen above normal precipitation, but really much of the Great Basin is below normal. You can see much of Utah, uh, Nevada, and southwestern Idaho is below normal over the past 30 days um, for precipitation. If we look at the water vapor satellite, you can see high pressure building over the western part of the Great Basin, and that high pressure will build over the entire area, bringing us those warmer and drier conditions through the end of the week. Significant fire potential is low across the entire Great Basin as our fuels are still quite moist. The temperatures this afternoon will be quite comfortable. Uh, you can see much of the Great Basin will be in that 70 to 80 uh, degree range with areas across the south up into the upper 90s. And as far as weather, we are expecting another day with showers and thunderstorms across the southern half of the Great Basin. You can see the map on the right. Those areas highlighted in green are areas where we could see those showers and thunderstorms develop this afternoon. Uh, as we move into Tuesday, we will see high pressure begin to build over the western part of the Great Basin. Now the map that we typically show for our weather pattern is not available today, so we have this map, which is not quite as easy to read, so my apologies there. Um, also, as we move into Tuesday, we will see those southern parts of the Great Basin start to move into that dry range as we will see uh, the warmer temperatures uh, start to increase. On Tuesday, we will see temperatures continue to rise a few degrees as high pressure builds over the Great Basin. And looking at weather, which is the map on the right, you can see those showers and thunderstorms really die off uh, moving into tomorrow with that more stable air moving into place. So if we take a look at the three-day precipitation accumulation, there's really not much for the Great Basin, mainly focused across uh, central Utah. Moving into Wednesday, the high pressure still remains in place. It continues to build over the area. And again, as far as fire potential, the majority of the area will be moist, although we will see some drying across the southern part of the area. Taking a look at the surface on Wednesday, temperatures really will begin to heat up. You can see uh, temperatures in the 80s and 90s across much of the lower elevations, and this is really moving into record territory. So I'm showing this temperature forecast here because we are expecting some really hot temperatures moving into Wednesday, which will lead to a drying of the fuels across much of the area, um, especially the southern part of the area where you can see that 100 degree forecast for Las Vegas on Wednesday. As far as weather on Wednesday, really not much in the way of thunderstorm activity across the Great Basin with that stable high pressure air moving in place. On Thursday, high pressure will continue to increase across the Great Basin. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but that's kind of the weather pattern we're in with high pressure building through the end of the week. And again, low fire potential across the majority of the area with some drier conditions across the south with those hot temperatures. And again on Friday, more high pressure across the area. And you can see from the fire potential map on the right, we are expecting that drier, uh, those drier conditions to increase to the north into uh, south central Nevada. Moving into Saturday, we'll start seeing uh, more dry conditions across the Great Basin with southeastern Utah moving into that dry range. And finally on Sunday, we will see high pressure still in place across the area uh, with dry fuels across about the southern third of the Great Basin by Sunday. As far as precipitation accumulation in the four to five day period, uh, you can see really nothing across the Great Basin. And with that high pressure in place, we are not expecting showers and thunderstorms through the end of this week. As far as 
current fuel conditions, our ERCs are still below the 50th percentile across the Great Basin. Although if you look at the arrows, those are all pointing upwards, which indicates that these ERCs are trending upwards. And we will expect this upward trend to, upward trend to continue uh, with the hot temperatures and drier conditions in the forecast. Finally, looking at the 8 to 14 day outlook, uh, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures across the entire Great Basin. There also is a potential for above normal precipitation in that 8 to 14 day period. So that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us. Our information is on the screen. You can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.